Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 17 box NBA Finals basketball mixer. It's a random team mixer, a chance to chase Tatum rookie cards, Luka, Ja, and more. Now if you bought a full spot, we're giving away a few full spots. Here's a look at the, uh, the mixer right here. I think we're probably, here's a, here's a picture of it, I think we're probably mostly chasing uh, Looks like we're mostly chasing rookie cards. I think there's some autos in that Contenders Optic and Chronicles, some relics there too. But really mostly rookie cards and their parallel seems to be the main chase here. And if those grayed out nicely, woo, it'd be really nice. Now, again, if you bought a full spot, you got a chance at a full spot. So it ended up only being nine names, nine spots. So new dice, new list. There's the nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nice. Trey Turner lead off home run in the inning. All right, top three after six gets extra spots. A little buy one, get one. One, two, three, four, five, and a one, sixth and final time. Fingers crossed. Good luck after six. It's Nico, Steve, and Grant. Congrats to you. Extra spots going your way. Buy one, get one. It's pretty nice. All right, we'll put a little rooftop next to your name so you know you won that in the giveaway. And that, of course, means you won that in Mosaic 48, Mosaic 47, Mosaic 46. Thanks, everyone, for making this happen. All right, now let's assign you a random team. All 30 teams are in. Let's get your names in here. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Three and a two, five times. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five, we've got Grant up top, Steve Birch down there in the 30 spot. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. We got Mavs down to Grizz. Thanks, Gilo. Gilo reminded me to switch channels. Still early in this Dodgers game. We got OT hockey going on here. All right, Mavs down to Grizz after five. All right, Grant with the Dallas Mavericks. Dom with the Nets. Grant with the spot that you won, Sixers. Corey with the Nuggets. Steve Birch with the Hornets. Mike Tower with the Bucks. Grant with the Jazz. Nico with the spot that you, uh, the giveaway spot here in this break. Buy one, get one. Cavs. Grant with the Warriors. Steve with the Lakers. Got my Lakers. Corey with the Pacers. Michael with the Magic. Grant with the spot that you won, Clippers. Michael, Heat. Steve with the Raptors. Jeremy with the Bulls. Sean with the Trailblazers. We've got Steve Birch with the spot that you won, Sacramento Kings. That's not bad. Steve Birch has the Timberwolves, Nico with the Celtics, Steve Birch with the Suns, Justin with the Spurs, Nicholas with the Pelicans, Robert with the Knicks, Rocky with the Rockets. Rocky with the Rockets, nice. Steve Birch, Pistons and Wizards, Grant with the Thunder, Steve Birch with the Last Spot Mojo Hawks, and the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, ooh, let's sort by column A, alphabetically by team. And look at that, the Colorado Avalanche in overtime. They win 4-3. All right, we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Now, remember, there are a lot of different years, so just keep that in mind before you trade. Trade at your own risk. Um, we're going to pause the video. I'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done here in the 17 box break. So that list right here remains the same here on a Wednesday, Wednesday the 15th, hump day, middle of the week, middle of the month, middle, middle. Thanks everybody for making this happen, appreciate it. And uh, all card ship by the way, that's good news too. All card ships. So let's get some of this uh, base heavier stuff out of the way first. 
Let's get some couple box of Donner's basketball out of the way. And then we'll work our way back to the one pack per box sort of stuff. Now while I'm breaking, I'm gonna I'm gonna post a poll for the people watching live right now. Who wins NBA Finals Game 6? Golden State leads 3-2. Warriors at Boston. That is Thursday. That's tomorrow night, 6 o'clock Pacific. We'll post that poll in the chat if you're watching live. If you're re-watching this video, a couple things. We'll do a recap, an autograph, and kind of top-tier rookie recap at the end. And then uh, poll results as well at some point. I think uh, early on, Celtics are the current favorites at minus four, uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Colorado Avalanche winning in overtime. Game one of the Stanley Cup Finals. Now, I feel like throughout the playoffs, the, uh, the Celtics have, have faced elimination before and have been successful in not being eliminated. I don't know, my, my sort of wish slash gut feeling is I want to see a game seven. I'm thinking the Celtics in Boston bounce back and win. Although I feel like the Warriors, you know, it's obviously in this advantageous position, they want to close it out as quickly as possible, but it might be difficult on the road. All right, here's the first box. Let me know what you think in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. I remember all card chips. If I miss like a numbered card or a short print or a variation or something like that, do not worry. We'll get it to you. Jonathan Kaminga in the mix in the finals, getting some minutes here and there. Here's a nice Cade Cunningham rated rookie card. That's for Detroit. Steve Birch got randomized Detroit. Nice gets the rated rookie card. And we got for the Spurs, eight out of 25, Joshua Primo autograph. So Josh Primo, cousin, going to, Josh Cousin, going to San Antonio. That's gonna be for Justin. We got Bam out of Iowa to 149 as well. We'll get all those sleeved and top loaded before they get sent out. Just in the interest of time, we're going to set those aside. We've got Jaron Jackson Jr. to 49. That'll be for Memphis. That's going to go to Steve Birch. Some of these Met, Net Marvel cards do pretty well. There's a Luka Doncic for Dallas. Grant. Here's an Evan Mobley. Cleveland, this is for you. Nico, who uh, won an extra spot by buying a full spot. Nico gets randomized to Cavs. I'm get all these Evan Mobleys, including any that I miss while I'm going through this break, but we'll get it out to you. Maybe some of those will grade out nicely. Davion Mitchell for the Kings. That'll be for Steve Birch. It's an all card ship, ladies and gentlemen. Out of 75, Emmanuel quickly for the Knicks. 
That's going to go to Robert M. in New York. Some rated rookies. And a Cameron Thomas Jersey Kings relic for the Brooklyn Nets. That's going to go to Dominic. That might have been a tried to trade, couldn't trade mojo situation there. Net Marvel's press proof LeBron James for Steve Burke and the Lakers. My Lakers. Got a new coach, Darvin Ham, saying all the right things. I, I, it seems like a good coach. Now, inheriting, uh, inheriting a very tough job in the Lakers who do not have very much room to operate. They're gonna have to work on, you know, they're they're talking about they're trying to buy a first round, a second round pick that is. It's Jordan Clarkson to ninety nine, which they've been lucky with their second round picks. They've been good at identifying some some diamonds in the rough in the second round in the undrafted market. So they really got to work that, and I don't think they really have many more moves after that. Scotty Barnes for Toronto. That's gonna go to Steve Birch. I don't think a lot of uh, NBA teams want to do the Lakers a favor by taking Westbrook off their hands. I think everyone's asking for uh, for the Lakers like a future first from the Lakers and like which is like twenty twenty seven or twenty eight or something like that. So they've already mortgaged a lot of their future. I don't think they want to do that. So I think they're kind of hoping that maybe maybe Darvin Ham can unlock some sort of rotation or something with. Uh, with Russell Westbrook in the lineup, maybe convince him, hey, you got to come off the bench or something like that. It's Alpern Sengun to 199. So we'll see what happens. Adam, what's going on? You're happy the Avs beat the Lightning. Yeah, that was an exciting OT. That was a quick goal from the Avs. Adam hopes the Lightning gets swept. There's Kevin Durant, 52 out of 99 for the Nets. What's the optimal result for the hobby? I, I suppose it would be, would it be the abs? Maybe people, you know, uh, people holding Kale McCarr. It's a nice Jordan Poole to 149. Right, Nate McKinnon on there. Nate McKinnon, Kale McCarr cards would go up. That would be good for the hobby. Uh, this break unlocks the break credit promo, ladies and gentlemen. So we will do the break credit promo randomizer after this. Give away a bunch of money. Details, I think, are still up on the site. After that, we are doing flawless. And after flawless, uh, we do have flawless pick your team. So that coming out after this will be flawless pick your team two. And then Flawless Pick Your Team 3 is in three different number blocks that are about 260 bucks and under. So, if people, and we're giving away a free spot in there too if you buy a full spot. So with a little bit of luck, we might be able to get Pick Your Team 3 going if people start working on that right now. I hope they do. All right, good luck.
Colin Sexton, 65 out of 99. Oh, Adam had, had predicted an Oilers-Rangers final. Oilers would have been nice to see uh, see Con McDavid in the final. I feel like they're on the cusp, though. A couple moves here and there. Might be right in it. There's Jalen Green for the Rockets. Houston, that'll be for Rocky and the Rockets. And that card is gold. Dante DiVincenzo, 3 out of 10. Nice gold sunburst for Milwaukee. That's going to go to Mike Tower. Ooh, you both you have a young gun, McDavid, and Alexi Lafreniere ungraded. Yeah, if they met each other in the Stanley Cup Finals, that would have been nice. They might someday. You may as well get those graded now, Adam. The timing would actually be kind of great. You might get those back in like the beginning of the hockey season or, or maybe, yeah, maybe by the by the end of the year, maybe a month or two into the hockey season. There's a Kate Cunningham, another one for Detroit. It'll be for Steve Birch. And if they start off the season hot, it might be good. No point till they win a cup. Well, why wait? Just knock it out now, and then just hold on to it until they until they win one. Otherwise, you're rushing to get it graded, and everyone's going to want it graded, and then be too. And just get that done ahead of time. Tobias Harris, seventy-five. Davion Mitchell, and then Evan Mobley, and a Charles Basie. 54 out of 99 autograph for Grant and the Philadelphia 76ers. Another Evan Mobley out there for Nico and Cleveland. Davion Mitchell for the King, Steve. Gordon Hayward at 149 for Charlotte. Cole Anthony to 199. And your rookie of the year is another Scotty Barnes. Toronto, that'll be Steve Birch. And the Alperin Sengun, Jersey Kings. Rookie relic for Houston. Ooh, Will Smith to the warning track. Right at the wall. Houston, that'll be for Rocky and the Rockets. Got Tyrese Halliburton, press proof to 199 for the Kings. Still Kings edition there. And we got Zach Levine, 29 out of 99. Zach Levine, I think, a free agent, right? He might. Unrestricted free agent, maybe? He might get paid. All right, let's, uh, let's do 14-15 first, and then we'll work our way into 17-18. So this is 2014-15 Donruss basketball. Man, blast from the past. Where are we at here in 2014?
Anyone remember the 2014 class off the top of their head? Ah, ah this is the Andrew Wiggins. Jabari Parker, Joel Embiid, Aaron Gordon, Dante Exum, Marcus Smart, Julius Randle draft class. And Zach Levine in here as well. And Andrew Wiggins was definitely on, on track. I think a lot of people pretty much before the start of this season had pretty much said he's a bust. Number one overall pick out of Kansas. Bust, right? But no, this year, he's a late bloomer. Late bloomer. He's a, he's an all-star, first-time all-star, and getting meaningful minutes in the playoffs on a Warriors team. Being counted on to put in meaningful minutes. Jabari Parker went second. Man, those those injuries for Jabari Parker really set him back. That's a shame. Joel Embiid obviously is great. Trust the process. Aaron Gordon still still playing some solid basketball. Yeah, Logan, Jazz fan. Dante Exum, what a bust. I think the Lakers were, were, were thinking, you know, if Dante Exum fell to them, that they were going to get Dante Exum. They got Julius Randle instead. I kind of wish they would have would have kept, but Lakers were definitely not in development mode at that time, or even now. Uh, Marcus Smart looking looking like a good pick at number six there for Boston, playing some strong defense. Nick Stauskas, whatever happened to him? No Vonley was ninth. Alfred Payton tenth. Doug McDermott, Dario Saric, and Zach Levine was thirteenth. TJ Warren was a Suns 14th pick. I think he's with the Pacers now. I think he turned out to be pretty solid. I'm trying to look at the rest of this list right here. Some guys are still around putting in some, some meaningful minutes here. All right? Rodney Hood, Clint Capella, Bogdan Bogdanovich. I think Kyle Anderson's still kicking around. Nikola Jokic, heard of him. 41st pick. I think there was a... Some of them might remember this. Wasn't there a... Uh, like a Taco Bell commercial happening when his pick was made? There's Kyle Lowry to 179. That's Julius Randle, rookie card. Greg Monroe. Steph Curry production line. I don't see a number on there, but that still looks pretty cool. And go to Golden State. That's going to be for Grant. There's Dante Exum. Yeah, Jokic, obviously. Grant saying steal of the draft. Can you believe that? Oh, that Kobe was numbered, by the way, to 254 for the Lakers. 41st pick in that draft. To the Denver Nuggets out of Serbia. You know, and I, like I said, I think there was like a fast food commercial running. His name was on like the bottom of the ticker when, when he was picked. And now look at him. Two-time MVP. Spencer Dinwiddie's still around. Jabari Parker, what could have been? Lee Dominator, Clay Thompson to nine Carmelo press proof to 99. Sam Cassell. A 
that's a different Nikola. Sam Cassell, Logan is saying, is in the top three for Jazz head coach. Chris Bosch to 199 for the Heat. There's Marcus Smart. Marcus Smart rated rookie for uh, for Nico in Boston. And there is Russell Westbrook game threads. I think the Lakers maybe maybe forced to try and make the make Russell Westbrook convince him to fit. Maybe a, a fresh new voice in the locker room, Darvin Ham, will be able to to unlock the best possible rotation there. So Logan, what's the talk around town? What's the talk around town? in jazz country about what they're going to do. Are they blowing it up or are they going to make it work? I think, they, I think they should make it work. There's Eric Green, rookie auto 249. A little ding in that bottom left corner there, but that'll go to the Denver Nuggets. That's going to be for Corey. With the spot that he won in a filler pack. Joe Harris, rated rookie. J.J. Redick. You, you, you wonder if uh, Gordon Hayward maybe should have stayed with the Jazz? I don't know if his post-Jazz adventures have been... have been as successful. I see. So I think no way Gobert stays. Mitchell or him, gone. They won't play together. Got it. So maybe... Uh, Here's 71 out of 72, J.J. Hickson for Denver. Sounds like they are not compatible. Glenn Robinson to 199. Hmm. There's Isaiah Kanan to 199. True. Got Mitchell because Hayward left. How old's Rudy Gobert? He's 29. Turns 20. Turns 30 at the end of the month. Yeah, you got to stick with Donovan Mitchell, who's turning 26 in September. He's a few years younger. And we got Fat Lever to 149. Old. Denver Nugget, classic. Corey. Corey with Denver. Andrew Wiggins, rated rookie card, T-Wolves edition here in this set. Steve Birch with Minnesota. Next one. <laughs> yeah, I do, Adam. I do remember how cheap 14, 15 Donruss used to be. And Wiggins was selling for a lot, too. But nowadays, yeah, the, the hobby has certainly, certainly changed a lot since then. But people used to say this was too expensive back then.
Yeah, definitely a late bloomer for him, right, Adam? Adam's like, I got a rookie Wiggins, and then his value tanked, and now it's good again. Definitely a late bloomer. Where does Rudy Gobert go? I feel like he still have, has a lot to offer defensively, right? You know, the, it'd be nice if the Lakers could get a Rudy Gobert, but I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> They don't. They don't have nearly enough pieces for that. But he would. He'd be a good sort of defensive bigger man. Let Anthony Davis play more outside instead of inside. What about? Uh, I don't know. The the Suns may may let DeAndre Ayton walk. Right. Maybe they fill that. That missing piece, you put a put a good defender in Rudy Gobert on that team, and then he's surrounded with shooters, right? Especially especially uh, Booker and Chris Paul running the floor spreads the floor fairly nicely, I want to say. Rumor is Hawks and Raptors. Would this be a would this be a proper trade? Because he's got a few years left. I mean, does he have a couple years left on the on the contract? Yeah, he's a free agent in twenty twenty six. Maybe a player and a first round pick. That makes sense. I think with how good. Uh, I think with how good like Jokic and Embiid look and dominate, I feel like people unfairly want Rudy Gobert to do the same thing. I'm not sure if he's quite that kind of player. There's Damian Lillard to 199. But he can still offer a team a lot of things. So rumors are Hawks and Raptors, says Logan, our resident Jazz fan. It's Eric Bledsoe to 87. And there's Eric Bledsoe again. Game threads for Phoenix. That'll be for Steve Birch. So maybe if it's Raptors, OG and Oobi comes the other way. Maybe with a first round pick. Or if it's Atlanta, John Collins maybe a first round. I like John Collins a lot. OG's great too, actually. That might work. That's to 56, Nick Collison. Steph Curry, Tyler Ennis. Channing Fry to one to four sixteen. Was Eric Bledsoe a star? I feel like he started out decently, but just never quite Quite got it into into gear. Never got never got the traction in the league. Joachim Noah. Chicago, Jeremy with the Bulls. There you go, Ballinger. And a KJ McDaniels autograph and a Julius Randle rookies for the Lakers. KJ McDaniels rookie auto, 75 out of 249 Sixers, Grant. DeMarcus Cousins. Clay Thompson. Yeah, Randall did fall off this year. Though, and the Knicks just fell off this year. Right? The Knicks made the playoffs the year before, and I think everyone was high on the Knicks, and then it just really, uh, yeah, you're a Knicks fan, huh? Yeah, it really just tapered off. What happened? That same magic wasn't quite there. 
Maybe it's a one step back, two steps forward sort of thing. You know? But it's a shame. I, re I really thought that the... Uh, really thought that the Knicks would have taken the next step forward and would be able to to uh, get things going but it'd be good for the it'd be good for the sport it's a big market team like like the New York Knicks were able to kind of get back into it there's Julius Randle press proof to 25 nice Jabari Parker the rookies what could have been another Julius Randle rated rookie card Still Lakers edition. That's going to be uh, Steve Birch. Yeah, Randall regressed back to his, his early Lakers days. Yeah. Well, I wish the Lakers would have given him a chance, though. I think he was, he was going to be a work in progress. But they moved him off to the Pelicans, and he made some improvements there, then made his way to New York and made better strides there and then regressed a lot this year. Now looking back, there's James Young for the Celtics to 199. I think looking back, the Lakers would be happy to have happy to have uh, current Julius Randle. All right, our final 2014-15 box. Yeah, RJ, that was really nice. I think a lot of people who had been collecting RJ Barrett were, were happy that that he had. Uh, Kind of emerged which is great so maybe it'll all click you know it's a good it's a good chance that it'll all finally click for the for the knicks so maybe one step back two steps forward is the uh is the idea yeah obi toppin looked pretty good too Maybe another another draft and another off season. Get a couple extra pieces together. That might be it. Now you don't like how Thibodeau plays oh, vets over rookies. Yeah, someone in that front office has got to be like, hey. You gotta keep playing these young guys. You gotta develop these young guys. Ooh, Logan is tired of hearing Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks. That's not happening. What would that take? What would that take? Donovan Mitchell to the Knicks? Adam doesn't want that. Last third and final box of 2014-15. Donner's basketball. There's Carl Landry to 76. There's a Marcus Smart. He's in the finals. And it'll be for Boston, Nico. All right, I agree. Adam's saying, I think that I think the Knicks should just keep drafting and developing. Yeah, I mean, if the, if I felt like the Knicks were like, if they were, quote unquote, a Donovan Mitchell away, you know, then maybe yeah, maybe maybe you maybe you make some moves there, but I don't think they are. 
There's Oladipo, game threads, piece of his jersey, Orlando. That's going to go to Michael. So, yeah, they should just keep drafting and developing. Kyle Korver autograph and a Joel Embiid. So here's Kyle Korver, 75 out of 249. That is Atlanta edition. That is for Steve Birch and the Hawks. Last spot mojo strikes again 60% of the time. It's really 70% of the time. Maybe 75% of the time nowadays. Last spot mojo hits 100% of the time. How about a Joel Embiid? The rookies. Who's got the Sixers? That's Grant. Grant who won that spot from the Mosaic Filler Pack, gets randomized, the 76ers, gets a rookie, Joel Embiid. Could this grade out nicely? This, just eyeballing it, but centering looks okay. Maybe a little more space on this side, but top bottom centering looks all right. Back centering looks okay. Corners are okay, edges look okay. Maybe. Yeah, maybe a little off center from the top to bottom, but maybe maybe a PSA nine. That'd be nice. If you're lucky a ten. Kinda hard to just eyeball it, but we'll be optimistic about that. And then I can't really tell the surface. That's the 25, Norris Cole. LaMarcus Aldridge. Shabazz Napier. LeBron James. Production line, DeMar DeRozan. Yeah, I know. I've gotten used to it. It makes you think it's an autograph coming up, right? You're like, ah, no, it's just, it's just that. Gallinari to 199. I don't mind this that much. What I do mind is when when this is right side up and then the next stuff is is upside down that's what that's what drives me bonkers you know if they were all right side up i would i would i would love that and behind mike connolly it's brandon knight game threads Piece of his jersey going to the Milwaukee Bucks. That's going to be for Mike Tower in Milwaukee. Omar Asik to 378. Yeah, let's not even mention that, Adam, because I think it just uh, encourages him. Brandon Knight saying they'll uh, sweep the heat. I think I do remember. I think Chris, them losing Chris Middleton had really, really turned things around for them. And we got uh, the rookies, Aaron Gordon. Orlando edition. Michael with that one. Robbed of a robbed of a number of 
What, robbed of two, maybe? Two dunk contest. Another Joel Embiid. So the other one was the rookie's Joel Embiid. I think this is more of the true rookie, right? The rookie's, I think, is an insert. Rated rookie Joel Embiid. Kind of hard to, to tell at this angle. Centering might not be quite perfect here, but I don't know. Maybe a, see what PSA says about that. Right, that's his real one, right? Yeah. So nice. That's Grant with the Sixers. There you go, Grant. Took a shot at the uh, at the filler pack. Won himself a spot. And ends up with that Joel Embiid. Ends up with the Sixers in that Joel Embiid. All right. So now we move, we flash forward to 2017. That would be the Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell class. And Donovan Mitchell? Let's flash forward to 2017. This was Markel Fultz, was one. Lonzo went two. Lonzo went two, Tatum went third, then Josh Jackson, De'Aaron Fox, Jonathan Isaac, Lori Markinen, Tilakina, Smith Jr., Zach Collins, Malik Monk, Luke Kennard, then Donovan Mitchell, Bam Adebayo. Who else is in the mix here? John Collins is in the mix, Jared Allen, Ojiano Obi, Kyle Kuzma for whatever that's worth. I like Kyle Kuzma, he should have stayed. Derek White. There's some guys here. There's some guys. Yeah, this would be a nice time to get a, a Jason Tatum rated rookie card. So this is time for Nico to pay attention a little bit. He has the Boston Celtics. And after these two boxes, we'll, we'll, the momentum will pick up pretty quickly because all the base heavy stuff is gone. We'll get into that chron that 1819 Chronicles back there, some Absolute, some Contenders Optic Basketball, some Prism Draft Picks Choice Edition. And we'll close out with that Donner's Optic Choice. All right, good luck, everybody. Terrence Ferguson to 199 for OKC. That'll be for Grant. Malcolm Brogdon to 99. Trendsetter saying, guess we'll see more flawless football tomorrow. I, I read that in the Eeyore voice. You haven't checked the schedule, Trendsetter. Wayne Seldon Jr., rated rookie autograph, Memphis Grizzlies, Steve Birch. JJ Reddick, lime green to 175. Yeah, Gilo's saying this class was pretty fun, right? Yeah, one through ten. I think yeah, I think a lot of us thought could be really great. Lonzo's alright. Seems to get injured a lot, but Lonzo's pretty solid. I think Markel Fultz, I had had him tabbed as a uh, a bounce back candidate this year. 38 out of 99, Jordan Bell for the Warriors. That'll be for Grant. Oji Anuobi. But yeah, there is a lot of high hopes for Josh Jackson. And Aaron Fox is pretty solid, I guess. Lori Markin in. Remember Dennis Smith Jr., first half of this year was real hobby hot. And then 
just really, really faded away, and then I ended up getting traded. There's Lonzo. Lakers edition. C. Birch. And line green Markel Fultz. To 175. Philadelphia, that's for Grant. I thought he was going to be a comeback candidate, but then another bad injury for him. But maybe he'll I don't know, just stick that in a drawer and see if he ends up having a nice bounce back season. Maybe he's a late bloomer. I hope uh, Markel Fultz does well because I want to... Uh, I hope Marco Fultz does well because I want to see like him tell the story about what happened. Right now, I don't know if he wants to tell that story. He's a work in progress. But if he ends up being successful, I want him to be like, yeah, so I got drafted number one overall. I decided to fiddle with my shot in the offseason. Then, then, you know, there was issues in camp and then there were injuries and then there were this and then... And I wanted to come back. The Sixers didn't want me to come back. They still wanted me to do this or that. Then I got traded. Then I got injured. Then I got injured again. It's a rough story. Yeah, I agree, Grant. I, I like sort of the the older optic parallels. I was just thinking that they kind of pop a little bit more. That Markel Fultz pops a little more. Yeah, I like Laurie Markin and Tal. I hope that he would have been another guy. But I think he did well his first year. Then didn't do well his second year. Then then some injuries. And then, next thing you know, he's not on the Bulls anymore. There's Alec Burks to 79 for Utah. Orange Zach Collins to 199 for Portland. That's going to be for Sean A. Luke Kennard actually shooting the lights out in L.A. for the Clippers. His first year was bad. And the second year was great, and then he was in like a three-point contest, I think. There's Bam out of bio for Miami, Michael L. And we got a green Eric Bledsoe, 129 out of 175. We saw him in the Suns in a few boxes ago, a few years ago, and then here, here he is popping up as a buck for Mike Tower. I feel like there's some decent upside for John Collins, Steve Birch in Atlanta. There's Laurie Markin just talking about him. Maybe, maybe he ends up doing well this year. It's the off season, hope springs eternal, or mo pretty much the off season. Still got a couple games left in the finals. Steph Curry could win another one of these. Maybe uh, Finals MVP this time. R.I.P. No, that's Robert Ory. He's still alive. I was going by really quick. That was Kobe for a second. There's James Harden to 175. Semi Ojale, Donovan Mitchell. I thought I thought you were saying I was all right, Spider. And a Pal Gasol autograph. Nice. Spurs edition of Pal Gasol going to Justin Bishop. Justin, who bought a spot in the filler, the mosaic pack filler, won himself a mixture spot, got randomized the Spurs, and gets the Pau Gasol 48 out of 49. You don't see a lot of Pau Gasol autographs out there. That's pretty cool. I like Pau Gasol. Here's Donovan Mitchell, rated rookie card for Grant and the Jazz. I thought, I thought you were saying I was all right, Spider. No, I thought you were saying I was all right, Spider. All right, the Chronic. 
1819 Chronicles Basketball. So this is the, this must be the Luka Doncic class. Yeah, DeAndre Ayton, Marvin Bagley, Luka Doncic, Sharon Jackson Jr., Trey Young, your first five. What did Jason pull on Instagram? That's Jaspi's great. All right, and right off the top, Luka Doncic, rookie card. Young Maverick, flying high. Dallas, Grant. Wow, that's a good draw for you, Grant. What, what did you get here? Grant got the Mavs, the Warriors, the Clippers, the Thunder, the Sixers, and the Jazz. Nice. Got Okogie to one forty nine. Essentials, Mitchell Robinson to one forty nine. Obsidian, Mo Bamba, Michael Porter Jr. to one forty nine, Denver. And another Luka Doncic, Marquee Edition. Gilo remembers the Luka Luminance. Pretty hot for it. I do love that Luminance design. I hope I see Luka Luminance here. There you go. Grant with Dallas with a spot he got straight up. Jaron Jackson Jr., orange to 149 with a preview stamp on the back. Wendell Carter Jr., Mr. Wendell. KBD, Katie Bates Diop to 249. Miles Bridges to 99 for Charlotte. That's going to go to Steve Birch. Colin Sexton. King of the Floor. Paul George to uh, 99. G Dash, what's going on? And we've got a rookie auto. JP Makura to 75 for Charlotte. Steve Birch. Nico with the Cavs. Cleveland could be on the cusp of, of something special. There's a Trey Young to 99. Nice. Troy Brown Jr., purple. And a Luka Doncic Obsidian. That looks really sharp. I think it sounds like Jason pulled something nice out of Obsidian Soccer. Not numbered, but still nice. This Trey Young is numbered, 81 out of 99. And that is for Steve Birch in Atlanta. Should have added 2019 cards for that Ja Young Dolph card. Ooh, nice SGA rookie ascent autograph. That is for Grant and the Clippers. 66, 69, nice out of 99. On card autograph. Nice break for you, Grant. Ooh, Greg got a big shipment from us. That's what I like to hear. I like the sound of that. All right, we got 2020, 2021, absolute basketball.
So uh, what what did you get? Anything special in that shipment? Big shipment's always nice to see. Uh, oh, John Moran had a car with Young Dolph in it. I don't know what a Young Dolph is. I'm assuming some sort of some sort of uh, musician or celebrity. A lot. Well, a lot is good. That's good to hear. It's better than not a lot. Better than no shipments. Again, some things better than nothing. There's Andrew Wiggins, 75, for the Warriors. Steph Curry, Tools of the Trade. Two-color dual relic. It was Hypeline, the 90s Menendez card. Oh, a rapper who died recently was in the background of one of John Moran's cars when I went crazy. Got it. Um, Grant with the... Oh, Hyped Like the night. Okay, I get it now. Hyped Like that in the 90s. It was that Mark Jackson, I think, right? Had the Menendez brothers in the background. It was Killian Hayes, 49 out of 49. Pistons, that's going to be Steve Birch. Tyrese Halliburton rookie and LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball relic? Yeah. Got a bit of the Hornets pinstripe there too, rookie threads. That'll be for Steve Birch and Charlotte. And Obi Toppin. Nice. Quad relic and autograph. 189 out of 199. Tools of the trade auto. New York Knicks. Robert M. Robert, nice. Congrats. We want, we want uh, definitely want them to take keep improving next year, taking it to the next level. There's Eric Gordon to 99. Got C.J. Ellaby for Portland. Piece of his jersey, rookie threads. For Sean A., And autograph for the Spurs, 20 out of 49. Trey Jones. And that'll be for Justin Bishop. They're according to 199. And we've got rookie threads. Uduka, Azubuike. Udoka is going to Grant and the Jazz. And Jaden McDaniels, triple relic and autograph to 49. Real thick hit here. I don't know if that's going to fit into a 180 top loader. Let's see. It's actually kind of a perfect fit here. There you go. Uh, T-Wolves, C. Birch. All right, now what should we get into? Should we get some Prism draft picks going? Choice edition. And obviously these will these will go to the, the teams that that they are listed on in the checklist.
All right. Got Jaden Springer, Alpern Sangoon, Josh Giddy, Io Desunma to 88, and Josh Giddy, three out of eight. Nice. That's for OKC Grant with the Josh Giddy. Might have been on a Rookie of the Year track until maybe that injury in the middle of the season. There's another Josh Giddy. Kawhi Leonard, Zaire Williams, and Jalen Johnson. Rookie autograph. Johnson, I'm just taking a quick look on the on the draft here. Jalen Johnson Hawks, by the way. That goes to Steve Birch in Atlanta. I'm going to keep all these college cards separately so the shipping team can look those up. Next Prism Choice, Prism Draft Picks Choice Box. Got Zion. Ooh, and a Tiger Stripe coming up. I hope he can bounce back this year. Trey Mann, Trey Young, Jonathan Kaminga, and Scotty Barnes. Nice. And another Tiger Stripe, Aaron Henry. Scotty Barnes Tiger Stripe for Toronto Steve Birch. And Aaron Aaron Henry. Tiger Stripe as well. We'll look that up, see who it goes to. Kaminga to 88. Shaquille O'Neal, Usman Garuba reveals a Zaire Williams, a former Stanford Cardinal. I think is currently a Memphis Grizzly, if I'm not mistaken. Pelicans. No, Wright's traded to Memphis. Memphis. My first instinct was right. That'll be for Steve Birch. Davion Mitchell for the Kings. That'll be for Steve Birch. Devin Booker, Greg Brown, De'Ron Sharp to 88. And David Johnson, Tiger Stripe. Magic Johnson and Cameron Thomas. The autograph is... Jason Preston. Fifty one out of eighty eight. Anthony Davis, Isaiah Jackson, Draymond, Trey Murphy out of 88, and Steph Curry. 
tiger stripe. Maybe these are a little more common than I thought. <laughs> tiger stripes. Grant with the Warriors. Jalen Suggs, rookie silver. Franz Wagner, teammates. And we've got uh, Jamorco Pickett, rookie autograph. And the final draft picks box. Wow. Tyler Anderson doing something special in Los Angeles against the Angels through eight. John Collins to 88 and Paul George to eight. Nice little number there. Joel Ayayi, Magic Johnson, and we got, woo, save the best for last, Evan Mobley. Nice. Your number three overall pick out of USC. About 20, 20, 30 minutes, no traffic east of us here. 49 out of 88. In his college gear, that's for Nico. Cleveland, this is for you. Nice. All right. Contenders Optic. Got a LeBron James die cut for the Lakers. That's going to go to Steve Birch. Superstar die cut. Nikola Jokic. Terrence Ross to 99. Donovan Mitchell. And we have legendary contenders, Jawan Howard. to 149 on that one. That is for Miami, that'll be for Michael. The Vets will go to the team, um, whatever team they're on the checklist, the 2021 Prism basketball checklist. It's a left-right randomizer here. Usually the checklist has them going to the team they played for the longest. Well, he's talking about the, the Prism Draft Picks card. They're all in their college gear. All right. 1920 choice. Good luck, everybody. All right, it's Kemba Walker. We got PJ Washington Jr. For Charlotte, that'll be for Steve Birch. Kondaria Witherspoon, rated rookie. Choice Refractor for the Spurs, Justin Bishop. Rated rookie, Kevin Porter Jr., hollow. Brad Zekas, rated rookie, red for the Knicks. That's to 88, and Darius Baisley. Signature series for OKC. That's for you, Grant. Not 
bad, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad break at all. I gotta do a quick randomize. No, actually, these guys are both on the same team. Thought there was gonna be a randomizer. These are both Knicks. That's both gonna go to Robert. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for getting in on the action. Appreciate it. Here were your. Uh, Here's a quick little recap. Nice Evan Mobley right here. These are the uh, all the collegiate guys. We'll make sure these all go to the right place per the checklist. We saw that Darius Baisley out of choice. Jawan Howard, which is pretty nice. I think he's going to be able. Jawan Howard's going to be able to coach his sons. I think uh, at Michigan. Uh, there's Obi Toppin. You got to got to be a cool experience coaching your kids in college. SGA. Trey Young rookie card, Luka Doncic, a couple rookie, few rookie cards for him. Some Donovan Mitchell rated rookies. Hopefully some good grading opportunities here. Nice rated rookie, Joel Embiid. The rookies, Joel Embiid. Some old school guys, some relics, some Scotty Barneses, Evan Mobley, some Cunninghams. So overall... Pretty solid break, I think. Thanks, everyone, for watching and for breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one.